Now the story with this area of the mural is there was some scandal here at the bar. Roy Lundberg, Simon's only child, had had a relationship with somebody, but she was married to somebody else. And then there was an accident where Roy was with her in a car and there happened to be an accident and she perished in this accident. And that was who used to be in the mural. She was actually cut out of the mural to make the whole thing go away. I think Simon at this time had had six or seven bars in the city and he sell a majority of them to help get the kid out of the trouble. So the strange thing was, is over years we've had people who say they felt a spirit in here. I never have, believe me, I've sat here at four o'clock in the morning hammered out of my mind going, listen, if you're here, I get it, it's your place, <laughs> right? right? Nothing ever to me. Right. Other people when we walk downstairs in the basement literally have gone, oh, did you feel that? And leave and say, I'm leaving and it's happened. So, once. Yeah. no, <laughs> this is this is a true story. Okay. Okay. I mean, and it really is tough to talk about because it's sad for both families, I imagine, yeah. right? But the strange thing was, was when Roy was getting sick and he had been fighting cancer for a third time, uh, I was upstairs and had been helping him do something and came down and I was looking up at Roy's because he was the last living person in this mural. And you could see Roy up here. And all of a sudden the top piece of Roy's head, like in the canvas, was kind of curled out. I was like, oh man, Roy's head's falling off the mural. Really just slightly thinking of it that way. Well, about three weeks goes by and he's basically in hospice ready to pass on, right? And I come down one morning after saying hi to him and thank you for letting me take care of his dad's bar and all that stuff. And I look up at Roy and I'm like, what the heck? And literally the story that I'm telling now, I didn't tell, I made a promise not to say anything till Roy had passed on. But I went, Brian, who had been working here, was the first one. I was like, Brian, look at this. Because now the hair's standing up on the back of my neck and my arms. Because literally, now I'm thinking, oh man, look at, she is still here. And literally, if you look at this, it's cut down the side, along the bottom, and going up the other side. As if, like, if she was stuck here because they ignored her existence, in a way, that she was here. She was doing the same thing. Yeah. Pretty spooky. I mean, you know, and, I, and I've never seen a ghost or had one or nothing's ever happened to me. I'm not like a true believer, but that freaked me out.